Hello and welcome. How's it going everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video I want to take a look at my Samsung F400 SG8 F400 actually which is a Bang & Olufsen phone. You can take a look here. I bought it boxed. I bought this for only 20 bucks plus shipping and it's a phone I wanted for a long time. These phones were pretty expensive back in the day. They're pretty hard to find and I was really lucky to find one for a decent price, to find one in general to be honest. And uh, yeah, let's take a quick look here on the box. We see it has 900, 1800, 1900 megahertz bands plus 2.1 gigahertz. Dual slide with dual speaker, 2.2 inch, 262,000 color QVGA TFT LCD, 3 micro SD card. It has 1 gig FM radio and a 3.5 audio jack, background music and a 3 megapixel camera without a focus. That's about it on the box. See the box is uh, it's a little bit yeah, damaged but it's of course an old box. Just like it's an old phone, the stuff is from 2008. So I think the phone was about 300 euros back in the day or plus 300, somewhere between 300 and 350. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I know that 20 bucks is a good deal anyways, since these are pretty hard to find. So I'm gonna put this away real quick, we're gonna take a look at what's in the box. We have the warranty card, and the uh, user manual is in the box. So we have a USB cable here, it has USB 2.0, and um, yeah, proprietary part. It comes with this adapter, it's a 3.5 port adapter so you could basically just put every single headphone you got in here it has a button here that's probably just used for um, pausing and playing and skipping to another song I don't see any volume buttons on here and the headphones which are not clean and as you can see um, just real quick, there's a piece missing as well, so but it's nice to have it, it's kind of a gimmick to have your original stuff. I don't know where the disc is, I don't think I have a disc. Now let's take a look at the phone. It comes in this nice shine through plastic. So yeah, this is the phone, I'm gonna do a quick look around on it. I'm gonna take a look at all the buttons and stuff that the phone has. So first of all, Behind the battery door, we find we find the 960 milliamp hour battery. It has 620 hours of standby time and four hours of talk time. We find the SIM card slot here, which takes mini SIM. That's about it behind the battery door. Now let's start the phone up and take a look at what it's got to offer. I like how it has a music style intro when it boots up. All right, let's just go ahead and take a look at the phone. Now it's on, we can do that pretty well. The dimensions of the phone is 103.2 by 48.2 by 16.9 millimeters or 4.06 inches by 1.90 by 0 0.67 inches. On the front of the device we find the 2.2 inch TFT screen which is a 240 by 320 pixels display with a pixel density of 182 pixels per inch. The button array we find the menu key, the return key, the call or pick up button, the hang up and power button and the D-pad which is pretty interesting because the D-pad both rotates like this but you can also press the individual buttons so if we go into the menu you can see I can rotate like a fennel like a DJ disc and actually go ahead and use the regular old d-pad as well so it's pretty multifunctional we can see the rotating d-pad in action here to scroll and to select you actually use the d-pad buttons so it's pretty cool how that works on this phone. The keyboard is also something that I like on this phone. It has purple keys. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Purple, silver and black, it's a perfect combination in my opinion. So we find the button here for video calls, which also gives us access to the front facing camera, which doesn't usually work in the camera app itself. Here we have app switcher. 
and we have the C here to remove input from the predictive text and texting in general. And the buttons here. Pretty easy to press and that's on the front of the phone of course. Sliding it the other way reveals our dual speaker array. We will go into that later. On the left hand side we find the volume rockers. The micro SD card slot. There's no micro SD card in here. It allows you to upgrade the internal memory of 24 megabytes up to 2 gigs. On the right hand side we find the charging port and USB 2.0 part slash additional headphone adapter. We find a music player a shortcut and we find a camera shortcut. So holding that down gives us access to the camera. On the bottom of the device we find a microphone and on the top of the device we find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and an attachment for a card. This phone technically has two headphone jacks and most modern phones don't. It's kinda... and most modern phones don't even have one. It has a Bluetooth here, a photo editor, notes, tasks, a speech recorder, a world clock, a calculator, a currency converter, a timer, a stopwatch, an RSS reader, so this is an RSS reader, which is used to scan an article and it will give you different sources to read said article. And then the most sophisticated thing on this entire phone, it's, been a fe it's a feature phone, but that this phone also has music recognition, that's something out of this world. Press this thing, and you need an internet connection to do so. You have a song on the radio, you open this, recognize a song, and here is like a, I, I this is actually used as you can see, for Resurrection by PPK. So it has a working song recognition app built into the phone. So it has a couple games: Asphalt 2, Mini Golf Las Vegas, Paris Hilton's Diamond West. <laughs> and Tetris Mania. So it has four games. You can also install games from the internet. It has a dedicated internet browser as well. Now let's get into the most interesting part of this phone and that's its media players. So here we have the FM radio. It needs a headphone to work. We have the video player. Something here, I don't know what it is. Oh great. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna talk about that. And the music player, of course, which is the most interesting thing on this phone because it's definitely a music phone. We have access to a lot of things podcasts, composers, albums, genres, artists, most played, recently played, playlists, everything last played. So I'm gonna put on Russian River for us. I'm gonna turn it up a little for you to listen to this phone speaker. I will do this for about 10 or 20 seconds so you can listen to how it sounds. So that's the music player and if you rotate the D-pad like a fennel, a DJ fennel, you can actually go ahead and shuffle through the song to go to a favorable part or go back. We got a couple of things you can repeat, you can shuffle the songs, open a playlist, set it as ringtone, rate the song, take a look at the details and there's some more settings so we probably have effects here we can change the equalizer we can actually fade it it has visualizations we can change the visualizations between three types so here we have an equalizer 
This is an equalizer with an album cover. And this is just an album cover. Now I like the second one the most. And if we slide the phone up into the phone itself, sliding it up or closing it will leave us with the usable phone. Sliding it down gives us the media. So that's pretty much how it goes. And I'm gonna end the video for today. This was my video of my Samsung F400. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment and if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any content like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Now if you have a suggestion for a phone that you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below because I have over 300 phones that I can cover and if I haven't already covered it, let me know in the comment section below and I will make a video on it for you. With that being said, thank you for watching this video and see you all later. Peace out.